So I came out to pick a bunch of Swiss chard and I've noticed that I have an aphid infestation in my Swiss chard. And I started cleaning it all up and dealing with it and then I thought you guys probably, you may want to see this. So first off, let me show you what it's going to look like on your plants. So they like to attack almost every kind of plant, but they like especially plants in the uh, cabbage family and greens family. You can see down in here, can you, those little black suckers, those are all aphids. See those guys. So I've already come in here with a hose and hosed many of the leaves and stuff down, but I kept a couple. So here's one that's not too bad, but you can see in here, let's set this down. You can see in here that there's aphids. So they're going to be on both sides of the leaves usually and at the base, the stalk. Here's one that's heavily, heavily coated. Oops, up, up, up. And uh, things have been eating the leaves and it's obviously on both sides. So I do a two-step process. I'm an organic gardener and this tends to work for me. First I'll take all these leaves that have the aphids on them. I'm going to take them over to the side of my garden and I'm going to put them in one pile and then I'll take them from there to my burn pile and I'll burn them when I can. Um, I can burn out here just about year round. Right now we're in a time where we're not supposed to be burning so I'm not burning. Then the second thing I do is I get in here with the garden hose which is why you can see these are so beautifully clean is I hose down um, all the leaves both sides down into the base and I pull out anything at the base that looks like it still has aphids on it so that's pretty clean but really like I will literally just pull those out and toss them and burn them because I want to really get in there so I'll show you what that looks like with the hose all right, so I've got my hose going and it's on that angle, that kind of flat angle down. And I'll get to a leaf that's on the plant and just hit it. And usually it'll take all the aphids off. This spot down here is just damaged. So I could leave that alone, but you can see it really removes the aphid from the plant leaf. Try it again with this one that's really heavy. This plant's also um, just falling apart because it's so fragile. But you can see them coming, it's just going to kill this, I mean, destroy this leaf. But you can see it, it takes them off, right? So. You could do that. Now I do a, a combination of the water and I get a little help from Mother Nature in the fact that I use neem oil to come in and treat after I use the um, water. Neem oil extract works as an insecticide, a fungicide, and a miticide, so it controls all these things. This is organic, it's for organic farming. The neem oil extract itself comes from um, a seed called the neem seed. Now I don't know what plant that grows on, on, I'll figure that out and link it below. But all I do is, over to this side of the garden, there's my running water. I just have one of these hand sprayers, you know. I'll pump it up. You can use any brand. I mean, these are like from 10 bucks to 60 or 70, these two gallon ones. I like this particular brand because 
the nozzle or the tube here is metal and then the nozzle is brass and it just works better. So let's go back over. Sorry for all the running around. I should have been a little more, or more organized, but I just decided in a moment's notice to show you. So I should really wait till the water dries off, and I will. But you can see in there, I'll just spray. I'll spray the leaves. And I do both sides, so I'll do this side, and then I'll go around to the underside of the leaves and spray in there and uh, kill these suckers. Now again, aphids can be controlled by a number of other things. Um, ladybugs are very good for aphids. I have a lot of ladybugs this year and I was wondering why I suddenly had a bunch show up. Now I know why, it's because they have a food source here. They have the aphids. Now this is all broccoli. I've had aphids in here that I've already treated and we are pretty aphid free on my broccoli and we're going to have broccoli tonight as you can see beautiful broccoli most of my cabbages are okay they haven't been too eaten but some of them this, this at the end definitely has um, this could be a mite or aphid or a number of bugs but I treated these yesterday with neem oil and water and today I'm just I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any bugs today where I was yesterday. But again, you spray the top, then you have to spray under each leaf, both with the water to get them off, but also with the neem oil to keep the suckers off. And because this isn't a long lasting um, chemical, you need to do this once in a while. So you have to be out with your plants, you gotta look at them, make sure that they're doing all right. So I already have some cabbage going in the house, making some sauerkraut. Two, we're gonna have some broccoli tonight for dinner and of course asparagus. I bet everybody and their brothers eating asparagus. Corn, I hate my corn, it never does well so it's not, not doing very well. These are cauliflowers and cabbages intermixed. Again, treated these, and I'm not seeing any sign of bug, and there were bugs inside in there, you know, these little leaflets. And then I've got my little pumpkin, you guys, coming on. I've got acorn, I've got a honeydew over there, and I've got some delicata, and miniature pumpkin. Just got bunch of stuff going on now. Again, this is one of my five gardens I have, but you guys have seen before this big Swiss chard patch, which I had to clean out. So many seeds dropped when I pulled out the big guys with the big fat roots and all these little things that you're seeing, except for that mallow over there. Those are all new Swiss chards, so this whole corner is going to be filled in. So anyway, that's how I get rid of aphids and mites and um, squash eating bugs. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.